my name is Jo Ludlow. Um, I'm here today uh, representing my own business, which is Diva um, Hair and Beauty, and I've got a training academy as well. And I'm here today to show you some of the techniques we do when we're blow drying and also styling. So what we've done first thing with Sophie, my model, is prep the hair first. Now it's really, really important to prep the hair properly. So today we've started off with a purifying shampoo to strip out anything that was in Sophie's hair before. I've used elevation shampoo and conditioner, Sophie's hair is quite fine. Um, so it's going to give it some extra oomph. I've then sprayed on some protection spray. So it's really, really important to use the protection spray. I've used fine to normal hair, because I don't want to overload it, but like I said, just give it some protection. Now we spray this onto wet hair. Okay, so many people dry the hair off first and then put this onto dry hair. It's actually put onto wet hair. I'm going to use a great big round twist brush and we're going to get loads of body from that too. As you can see I've sectioned off into four sections just because sophie has got a lot of hair and I'm going to go th from the back to the front. So I'm just combing out now my back section. And it's really, really important to get a good foundation before you do any styling work. So I'm just going to blast off a little bit first to get some of this moisture out so it's damp when I start blow drying. pointing down so the hair's not flying everywhere and it doesn't get knotty or tangled we like to get back to basics with our blow drying and that's a good old fashioned loads of root volume and then pulling it out straighter towards the ends so the clients then have a really good blow dry which will last them the whole week Okay, so the hair is damp now, and I'm just going to section off at the back and ta start taking sections from the nape to the crown. Like I said, I'm going to use the big twist brush, a ceramic one. So obviously the ceramic gets warm and it sort of makes the whole blow dry a lot quicker as well. But obviously the heat forms a real nice barrel shape at the root and gives it loads of root volume. Now I'm just going to take another section and just work my way up. That way then, because there is such a lot of hair, you don't get in a, in a mess and blow dry and lose control of the hair that you should be drying. So again, the same technique, lift 
rising up from the roof and pulling through. Try and control the hair as much as you can with the brush and your hair dryer. Sophie round so that's our back section now which has been completed and it just feels lovely it's got a lot of root movement but it should feel really light on the head as well I'm now going to go on to the side section so again like I did on the back I'm going to now just Blast off a little to get rid of some of this moisture. So again, I'm not blow drying forever. Again, hold your section down so it doesn't fly away everywhere. And you're keeping control of that one section and not going into that back section which you've just completed. side section 
so there's no lines or anything where we've sectioned off but it's just lovely and sleek and shiny so I'm just going to do the last section now Just while the brush is warm, I'm just going to take it through mid lengths to ends and just hold it just slightly at the bottom just to curl the ends under. So you get a real nice effect. And you're using that heat from the brush. just to finish off. So as you can see we've got a really nice long hair blow dry. It's all really sleek but with root volume it looks lovely and shiny and smooth and that blow dry should last for a couple of days and that's the blow dry. <laughs>